Hey there everyone, uh, welcome back. I am not enjoying the weather right now. Uh, if I can get one more flower, I'll be able to make a pretty parasol, which will at least not make us get soggy so quickly, but at this point I think it's kind of too late for that, because we're already soggy as hell. Yeah, better hold on tight to Lucy. Yeah, we're at the point where everything is so, uh, s so soggy or slippery from the rain that, uh, if we're just trying to do normal things like cut down a tree, our axe could fly right out of our hand. Here, I'll try and demonstrate. Yep. Can we talk about this? Yeah, so that's, that's something funny that can happen. It's especially funny with Lucy because she's our talking ex friend. It's perfect. Alright. Yeah, I, I can't move. I'm stranded here until this rain stops, which luckily I think it's starting to do right now. But, uh. Until I can get all of this accumulated wetness off of me, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. I, I'm sorry that this is, uh. Oh, there we go. I was, I was gonna say it was gonna be a very uneventful episode if this kept up, but uh, hold on. I'll just light this baby up and slowly, ever so slowly, we will uh, regain our dryness. That was pretty bad though, I, I gotta say. I was not a fan of it. Counting down. We're in the twenties now. Thank goodness. And if it starts up again, we at least have the pretty parasol, so it won't go as low as it has. Right there. Okay. Let's just put that on. I, I don't know why. Just I'm gonna gonna have that. And here's some desert. It looks like. Yeah, we haven't found a desert biome. This would be good for the summer, but uh, since we're already through with the summer, we don't really have to worry about this biome in particular. Um, one nice thing that happens in here, though, is that, uh, well, number one, during summer, uh, cactus will actually bloom with a flower. Oh, here's tumbleweed. I was going to talk about this next. But tumbleweed is a very valuable resource in deserts. Uh, if you can catch it, sometimes it it just rolls way too fast and you can't catch up to it, but if it runs into you and you uh, interact with it, you'll unfurl the tumbleweed. And there can be any assortment of things in there, even gears, which uh, as of Reign of Giants, with the tumbleweed being added, uh, made WX's gear supply replenishable. It used to be limited because the things that dropped it did not respawn. So there were a limited amount of gears in each world, but this gives you, albeit a 1% chance, I think, of dropping the gears. Similar to Graves, Graves would only drop gears very, very rarely. But considering how common tumbleweed is, like, you can find maybe four or five in a place at a time. So, so you get plenty of tumbleweed to uh, try with. We're actually not having the most luck with that in this particular playthrough. This biome does not seem all too abundant in, uh, all too abundant in tumbleweeds, but it's still not bad. Uh, the main thing I'm worried about here is that deserts are the primary location for hound uh, piles, or bone piles, which is basically where hounds gather. Uh, hounds will kind of just hang out in these giant piles of bones, and that's where they spawn. It's like a spider den, but with bones and hounds, and it's awful because hounds, which are much worse, in my opinion, than spiders ever could be. So, well, I don't want to pick up those. Just drop them. Just leave them. Leave them for someone else who needs sticks more than we do. Yeah, desert's, desert's a little... Well, 
as a desert would be expected to be. It's a little barren. Um, the the bones that you find lying around in the desert, the uh, just those little shards of bone, some skulls, some rib cages. You can break those all down with a hammer to get bone shards, which can be used in things like the rain coat and rain hat recipes, good stuff like that. Also, we gotta get back. We gotta get back upland. I think uh, day fifty six is gonna be our full moon day. I think it's also going to be our winter day, so I'm going to have to prepare for both at once. I'm going to grab a thermal stone, put it in the fire. Ooh, hello there. I'm just going to grab this stuff and leave you guys to your business. Sorry for bothering you. Please leave me alone. Okay, good, they left me alone. Alright, this is kind of bad though because can't wear my winter hat at night. Oh, jeez. Speak of the devil. This is like the worst time. Can you not chase me right now? No, please, please stop. No, please go away. Please go away. Please leave me alone. Oh gosh, I just walked back towards him. I'm just keeping this campfire out, waiting for me to uh, start freezing up. It's not happening yet. Not just yet. Oh, see from that uh, that birch tree right there. I am. Oops. 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 Oh. Okay, that was close. Uh, I could have made a torch, but I, I had my hands full with the campfire. Luckily, we were able to find a spot to plant it. So. We're safe for now. Oh lord. Alright, I gotta... I gotta hightail at home. This is bad. I don't like this. I don't like this much at all. Anyways, I think tomorrow's gonna be the full moon night, so we're gonna turn into a werebeaver. Which is great, because our, uh, our sanity's already dwindling, so... Not too much is gonna change. Our health might... Our health and our hunger might go down the tubes a little bit. Other than that. Okay. And we gotta get more fireflies. Can't do any more nightly expeditions. Okay. Oh, gotta end the episode. Alright, thank you for watching everyone. Goodbye!